So generally, Snowflake, right? So everyone knows that, like, you no know, Snowflake is a data warehouse, right? And again, this is completely like, you no know, three three tier, like, and also like a three layer architecture will be available here. So one thing, like, you no know, data storage, the down one, and again, there's completely storage services, like, you know, any S3 bucket, like, you no know, object storage is in the AWS cloud, and you can blobs in the Azure cloud, and also, like, you know, cloud storage buckets in the GCP cloud. Next, like, you know, compute layers, like, you know, virtual machines is catchy. Like, this is a basically layer of a okay, snowflake architecture. Snowflake architecture in this case. Snowflake architecture. In this snowflake architecture, we have a layer. So in this case, you know, in the service layer, like you know, we can go with like in the cloud services here, authentication again, like access control list wise, and again infrastructure manage wise, and also like you know, optimization again, like transaction manager, and again security. The end to end stuff we need to do on this, like each layer here. The data storage layer, like you know, generally we have like AWS cloud services, like we can take only object storages also, right? Like S3 bucket in AWS, and also like you can know, Azure Blob storages, and again. GCP, Google Cloud storage buckets also. Which are the three layers? Storage services, I mean data storage, and also like, you know, virtual machines, which is provisioned here. And the basically like VM voice. Basically, it is a cloud service. The backend, how it works. That's what like, you know, the layer of architecture here. Now scroll down. I think, uh, okay, meanwhile, compute layer is nothing but like completely end to end. Meanwhile, just a minute. I want to make like in the yesterday AWS account. In the AWS account, I want I went to purchase. So one second. Snowflake. Okay. And again, it is sent to Visual Art Treat Machine, the email account, and again get started. One second. In my email, like you know, I think it is there. Snowflake. Okay, activate your no, Snowflake account. Click to activate. This will be like available. Okay, so on to us. Please to save the name. I can give like Vishwan. Password I can give. V I S H W A double seven. here in this case welcome to snowflake how do you want to start with selecting you know six SQL language or python code either load data into snowflake either local files external cloud service providers third party connections like in 20 plus cloud orders. so if you want to start like which one you want we can start right now i want to skip here this is a default dashboard which is available in the snowflake so it's like one month free trial account will be there so anyway, within one month, we can practice and again, we can, meanwhile, we can also close our closes. See, trial ends in 29 days. $400 will be available here. Is it clear, right, Sorry, everyone? I still can't understand you. Hello. Please make sure there is no background noise and try again. Hello, hello, hello. Is it audible? Yeah, oh, we can hear you. Please go ahead. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. So in this case, so the basic how to create users and you can how to query data and you can like you know, create a SQL worksheet and you can load from cloud storages and you can upload local files, how to convert. This is a default dashboard. I'll walk through this dashboards here, basically. And again, the cloud admin accounts. Right now, this account is created by the AWS only and again, account admin. So basically, Snowflake administrator is also like use jobs here. Meanwhile, I will go through this default first navigation and again, appearance here and again, support my profile and again, privacy notice and as written documentation of each and everything. Client download. So now if you want to download like the client download, what is this client download here basically? Like how to connect from local Excel sheets or how to connect directly from the local machines. So clear, right? Downloading Snowflake clients, connectors, drivers, and again, libraries. In this case, we can download the pages. The download pages will be available in this link. Either like ODBC driver. Suppose if I want to load this data to the from Excel sheet to the Snowflake. For that, we should download this ODBC drivers and again Snowpark APIs and again all these things end to end. Everyone need to create a 
Snowflake accounts. Next. Uh, meanwhile, I'll understand this concept. And you can search. We can search like you know, any AWS history. So data transfer history. And again, database schemes. AWS private link private link room. And again, AWS VPC endpoints for internal stages. Each and every data I can pull and again I can get the data here. Okay. And again, AWS secret managers also. Now let me go back to understand. Meanwhile, projects. Load sample data with SQL. SQL with from S bucket. Load sample data. Now go back. Right now, I don't have any notebooks here. Here we can create a notebook stick, you know, important one. So now go back. Packages. And also you can default dashboards here. Then you can data. And again, the data products where we can pull the data from the multiple data product series. I think everyone is on the account, right? Snowflake account. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, no, no, I don't. If it doesn't have. I'm passing this link. Please create a Snowflake account. How many of them are available? How many of them are going to join? We'll create a WhatsApp group and again, I'll be sending all the documentation to do this end to end account creations. And again, 30 days we can use like end to end. Clear, right? Okay. So, next, go back on this. Uh, suppose take an example. So what to do after 30 days? So we, do we need to pay for it? See, after 30 days, you can create with a different, the different team and a different phone numbers, new account. Okay. Hello? Okay, okay. Hello? Thanks. Yeah, yeah. We can create a new account with the new email address. Then it is possible to load on this. Yeah, yeah, ML and also like monitoring. Also, we can load it now. If you want to like, know, there's like multiple things like user visual. Last three days back, I was approached here. Now, get back, create SQL worksheets, Python worksheets, notebooks with like you know, any kind of new notebooks, and you can get repositories, tables from file, stage like from Amazon S2 bucket. And as you know, view. Now let me take the, the stage. Amazon is the bucket. Now I don't have any. One second, let me check in the bus is the bucket. Okay. So one thing, what is the stage? Hello. One by one. Suppose like you know, first bid client like this it will call. So I'll show this S3 bucket. Everyone is having a AWS bucket AWS account, right? This one need to do we have yeah. everyone a AWS account? No. Uh, we will create after Hello. this. Uh... Okay. Okay. Not authorized. Why? Now we can load the sample S bucket data here. Create a bucket. One, two, three, none, four, five, six. The bucket name, simply the bucket name like this. We can keep the version again. Just create a bucket. Okay.
you will apply this bucket only in this bucket i can upload like few datas add files i can upload this only okay. now let me take with the excel sheets open any data is fine load it okay now get back here close this see you can copy the url s3 uri or else url anything is fine now in this case it is asking your url in the url we should go to the bucket copy this url and again it's a bucket and you can paste it here the bucket name comment and you can authentication select if authentication was configured right now i don't have anything and you can find enable auto refresh if you want we can enable with the topics wise here but anyway so right now i don't want this anything if you want like sql preview this is sql preview No, once again, if you want to give the access key ID and again, all these things, suppose in this account, how to generate this access key is central. Click on this, and again, here you can go to the security credentials and the security credentials. Here, see, here the basically multi factor access keys. In the access keys, create access keys and again others and you can click next create access keys copy this access key and again if you want to download this also we can download the csv copy this access key and again this access key is here paste it and again secret key the secret key is available here secret key copy this what does the snowflake and that's like no next this was sorry to interrupt uh, so these are the things which we have already covered for this uh, in the session oh, just demo demo uh, demo only demo classes this one okay because okay you are going fast right okay how can we able to understand in these other steps ah uh, no 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 this you know only for the demo purpose i'm doing this one but in the live classes it will be like very slow and you need to understand it end to end to end here okay if you want to enable the encryptions, we can enable the encryptions, but I don't want any master keys here. Best. But I've given the access key ID also. Mm -hmm. Next. Right now, no database is selected. I can take the snowflake sample data only. Information schema only I can take. Select or create a database and again, okay. If you want, we can create a database also. Meanwhile, we can create a database. Database demo snowflake. Create demo snowflake is creating. And again, I have given the authentication everything. It's a public database. New account details. This is techno generating the access key ID and you can see the access key and you can create. There it is. Mm 
la de más no fue que Uh, hi, Vipo. Sorry for interruption, but uh, I don't think you are giving the proper background what exactly you are trying to do. No, when did you join actually? Sorry, I mean the recent you joined or in the beginning? I joined okay. today actually. So today is my first demo. So, All right. From the beginning you have joined? Yeah, from the beginning only, yes. Today beginning, All right. yeah. All right. All right. See, what is basically Snowflake here? Snowflake is nothing but it is a data warehouse, right? It's a data yes. warehouse, like it is a cloud data warehouse. But what exactly it will do? It will collect the data and again it will do the transform the load, so transform the data also, and again it will be loading the data also. So what is Informatica tool is doing? The same concept, but it is a everything is in one ready-made feed code. So suppose we'll understand this architecture. See. Okay. So what is this? What is occurring to us? Like, you know, what is Snowflake? What is Snowflake? Snowflake is a data warehouse. What exactly we can do this data? But when we are having like multiple tools like Power BI. And again, also Informatica, what exactly Snowflake will do on top of that? Any idea on this basic information? No idea. Yeah, yeah uh, it's been a uh, cloud-based data warehousing tool, which we are going to storing the massive amount of data into the cloud-based uh, warehousing level for the reporting team to build the dashboard for uh, analysis purpose. Okay. Then again, same thing so, we can, you know, same thing we can go with Power BI also, right? Yes, sir, please, Kevin. Power BI, uh, so you are, I mean, uh, at least Power BI is not maintain the completed databases. So it is completely uh, uh, depending on some any of the uh, OLTP or OLAP uh, platform to getting okay. the data. Yeah. So if the Power BI, BI people can uh, try to get in the data from the OLAP, the data inconsistency manner for this daily basis. So what the people are trying to do this, they are going to completely depending on any of the warehouse size, where all the historical data is stored, from there we are going to getting the data from to build the report to maintain the data consistency, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. I hope, okay, so yeah, earlier the systems is going to build for the uh, Teradata, um, Hadoop, these kind of things. So now why the people are going to, depending on the Snowflake, hope it has having the um, unique features into here, into the Snowflake. Uh, uh, because we do have for this uh, Red Shift also there, Big Quarry also there, and as well as Snowflake also. These are the all three. This is the popular into the data warehousing um, systems. It like an OLAP. I can able yeah. to see that OLAP. Okay, analytical uh, um, platform. Okay, online analytical pro, pro, pro platform. So whenever we are going to getting the data right, okay, so it will be directly pointed to the power. Uh, uh, OLAP systems and getting the reports. Okay. Okay. See, in the real time, life, yeah, yes, please. Yeah, your input is correct. But the thing is, like in the real time scenario, like, you know, in the world TP, transactional processing, right? In that cases, like, what exactly we should focus? Like, we should focus, like, in sessions, updations, and again, deletion of the specific data in the column table wise, right? Especially this snowflake we use for mainly the only one reason the database will be available in the back end. That is damn sure. But the meanwhile, why we need to use, in which scenario we need to use a Snowflake, right? That is one of the main thing. So basically the key features of this Snowflake is columnar storage, right? I mean, column wise, it will be storage. And it will be like scalable and again, flexible architecture will be available. This is a main default architecture, which is available in this case. So what is it exactly here? Database storage. And again, also like this will be provisioned under one of the any kind of small VM. But earlier cases, we need to provision with the manually. And again, we should install it. But now, Nowadays, it is a Snowflake is a cloud storage service. So by default, 
it is a serverless database everything will be maintained in the back end right so and again the thing is like we should learn only the for understanding purpose of this snowflake is nothing but how to secure and again how to govern the how to secure and again how to govern the data mainly and again multiple queries and again multiple sql formats where we can run is it possible to run sql in the no sql data one simple question if anyone is working in the snowflake is it possible to run no sql records in the SQL snowflake anyone any idea akash no sql please pardon see right now in the snowflake we can get the data in the database format in the sql format right is it possible Correct. to collect the data in the no sql format yes, yes we do documentation key value time series Correct. yeah everything right same way yeah and again generally after collecting the data what exactly we will be doing that analyzing in the sense like you know it will be generating the reports and also you know dashboards creations visualization creations that's what like you know i need to i went to show some excel sheet data will be available in the s3 bucket i configure that and again after that pulling that how to make the visualization this snowflake that's what i made to understand okay right okay okay in which use cases we can use like any kind of like healthcare analytics and again any kind of like you know any customer behaviors inputs any kind of like supply chain operation also we can use in this case and again if we use this snowflake what are the better options like you know faster query performances will be available and again it's more flexible and again scalable options right that is one of the main thing we'll be seeing on this right so snowflake what is the comparison tools for the snowflake in aws amazon redshift in the google cloud there is a big query in the azure cloud there is a azure synapse analytics right and again oracle x data and again terra data compared to this these tools snowflake is like no it is like it's a famous tool Wait, any confusion still now anyway tomorrow also like in two days will be remaining two days will be also like there is a demo classes and again i'll load this completely end to end data and again i'll be sending all the documentation for this meanwhile like you know i need to jump to other class 8 30 patch 10 minutes it is extended so that's why like, i went too fast to make to understand this concept okay any doubts here up to your akash satish neha prakash soma Maybe we need to go through the documenter, sir, uh, to understand yeah, yeah. more. Sure. Okay. Sure. Anyway, please attend tomorrow demos also. And again, I'll be showing that like, you know, end to end, like, you know, how to visualize and again, what exactly in which scenario we need to use, in which cases of data we should roll all these things. Okay. 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 Sure. This will be, in the, this will be repeated, repeated again in the regular process. Yes, sir. So this is like, you know, just overall in the demo session, what we need to show. So that's why like, you know, we'll be showing only the eye level, but in the demo, in the live classes from the scratch, a single word also it will not miss us in this case. What is OLTP? What is OLAP? In real time scenario, how the data will be going to the transaction wise and again, how analytics mm -hmm. program will be coming in the OLAP with the, from the SSIS server, all these things clear. Okay. Okay. So anyway, I need to jump to other meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Good morning, everyone. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mark.